All right, so right now, the Eternal Wanderer is in the item shop. And it's no surprise because today actually is the last day to get her free pickaxe. So I've already done a video about this, but this is just a friendly reminder. Today, August 4th, is your last chance to get this pickaxe and it goes with her. So the Eternal Wanderer skin, as you can see, came out in Chapter 3, Season 2. And when they released her, in one of the promotional images, they showed a pickaxe. But, as you can see, she's only 1,200 V-Bucks because she doesn't come with a pickaxe. Even if I back out to the actual item shop, that's all there is. There's no pickaxe included. So I don't know if they messed up or what, but then they decided, hey, we'll just give this pickaxe to everyone for free if they do a certain thing. And that certain thing involves G-Force. So with G-Force, you can access Fortnite 100% free. There are paid memberships that you can get, but you don't have to do that. There's a free version. So in order to get the pickaxe for the Eternal Wanderer, you have to get this G-Force app, load it up on your phone, play one match of Fortnite, and that's it. 100% free, no strings attached. But like I said, August 4th, which is today, is your last day. You have until midnight tonight, 11.59. Well, technically not midnight. One minute prior to midnight to claim this. Now, if you've already done this, you can just tune off the video. I mean, that's it. You're done. However, let me note this. You don't get the pickaxe until August 11th. So today, August 4th, is the last day to do this. But even if you did it or you do it today, you will not get the pickaxe until August 11th. I've already had tons of comments say, hey, where's my pickaxe? I did this. I didn't get the pickaxe yet. I've said multiple times that you don't get it till August 11th. It literally says right here. In the blog, players will receive this pickaxe starting August 11th, 2022. August 11th. Do it today. Get it August 11th, okay? That's how it works. So I'm just going to copy and paste my tutorial from my last video, and I'm going to put it right here. So if you haven't done it yet, you don't have to tune off this video. You can just follow the directions here. If you've already done this, then just ignore this last part of the video. Now, I do want to note one thing, because when I originally recorded this, I pronounced a few things wrong. The service is called G-Force, but it's spelled G-E-Force. And in the footage here, I actually say it like that, G-E-Force, because I didn't know the E was silent. It's just G-Force. So I always get comments, well, why did you say it like that? I'm sorry, this is old footage. I didn't know at the time. It's G-Force, but I pronounce it G-E-Force, so don't hate me too much. So here you go. Here's the tutorial. If you haven't done it yet, follow these instructions get the free pickaxe on August 11th. So it does require you to have a phone, which I'm assuming most of you have. Maybe if not, you could use your parents' phone if they allow it. But you go to your Play Store, or if you're on iPhone, whatever the, what is it, the App Store? I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know. So in the Play Store, you would type in NVIDIA. And this is what pops up. NVIDIA GeForce Now install. It's free, 100% free. So click install. Once it's installed, then obviously you're gonna open it. And it says a privacy thing, so you're going to click I agree and continue. Now, I've never done this before. This is my first time doing it, so hopefully I can get this right and show you with easy steps. So the next screen says to log in, and I don't have an account, and you guys probably don't either. So it's going to make you register for one, so let's see. I'm going to click log in. Yes, it'll pop you up to another page, and it says log in with your GeForce Now provider. So I guess I want to click NVIDIA. See what that does. Then it says, enter your email to log in or create an account. Okay, so I created an account. It was super easy to do. And you just have to type in an email and obviously create a password and things like that. And then it'll redirect you. You have to confirm your account. They'll send you a confirmation email. And then you get this screen. It says, almost done. Please confirm the information below. I'm logged in as Tabor Time, which is also my supported creator code, by the way. It says, we need to download additional game data. This may take longer than usual. Oh, come on. So that download did take a few minutes, at least five minutes, but then it finally finished and it says, you do not have an active GE Force Now membership. So there is a free membership. Again, all of this is 100% free. I should have told you to do this when you signed up, but let's just close out of this and you have to go to the GE Force Now website. So just type it into Google, GE Force Now, and it's the first one right there. And right here on the very first screen, there's options for membership. This one's $19.99, you don't want that. This one's $9.99, you don't want that. Look at this one, free, right here, 100% free. So you're gonna click join. 
And since we already made an account, you can just find your account right there and click continue. If you're not logged in, just log in. So now it says, congratulations, you're in, your free membership, blah, blah, blah. So now let's go back to the app. So this is what you're gonna see next, and you have to pick Fortnite. So let's go ahead and select Fortnite. So let's see if this works, I'm gonna click play. It says GE Force Now lets you play your game on cloud servers. And then it does say you're gonna to have to sign into your Epic Games Store. Here we go. Now it says connect account, let's do that. Now you're gonna to have to log in via your Epic Games account and share the information with this app, which is what we want, allow. Okay, so now we're playing the game through our phone. So those were the steps if you didn't have the app already. Let's say you did get the complex lava skin like I mentioned earlier in the video a few weeks ago, then you should already have the app. If you do, all you do is search for the app on your phone. Then once you load in, this is the screen you're gonna see. And at the very top, it should already say my library and then connected accounts and then Fortnite. That's how mine is at least. So on this screen, you obviously click Fortnite and then it's gonna say connecting and loading on the bottom left. Now make sure you do have a stable internet connection because I tried this while I was at a restaurant and it wouldn't load. So now I'm at home, I do have a stable internet connection and it logged me straight in. As you can see, I am now in the game under the GeForce Now app. So it doesn't say you have to play a match or anything, it literally says you just have to log in. But to be safe, I am gonna hop into a Team Rumble match. Yes, we know we can swap there. So I'm gonna go into a Team Rumble game just to make sure it works correctly. Turn that off. And it's just like playing on mobile, but the blog post says you can connect a controller, you can connect a mouse and keyboard. So if for some reason you can't log onto your console or you can't log onto your PC, you're out of town or something, you could still play Fortnite via this app. Super free, super easy, super free. It's just like the Xbox Cloud Gaming, which is unfortunately what I showed in yesterday's video, but this is the actual method that you have to do. And again, it doesn't actually say you have to load into a match, but I just wanna be safe to make sure I do get this pickaxe, which again, does not get granted to your account until August 11th. So do this before August 4th, but you won't receive the pickaxe until August 11th. So don't freak out that you didn't get it right away. You gotta wait until August 11th. So the graphics look about the same as it did on the Xbox Cloud gaming service. And I am terrible at this, so I'm not even gonna do anything. We're just gonna launch from the battle bus and then back out. I don't even know how you shoot. Where's the fire button? This? No. I don't know. It's super fast sensitivity though. All right, so there you go. Let's launch from the bus. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this actual tutorial video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taker Time.